Hey, what's up YouTube, and welcome back to part 20 of my how to build a fair slash carnival slash theme park playlist. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a swinging chair ride. If you are making the entire fair, this is where you are going to want to begin your build. As you can see, Inside of the large white grid, we have instructions on exactly where we want to build this thing. So if you have made the large white grid, hopefully you have, follow those along and we will both be starting in the same place. Here are all of the materials that we will need to make the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. Place a blue concrete on top of the previously determined starting position and extend the blue concrete up by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We now have to do something that is going to be a little bit tricky. We want to place a row of six white shulker boxes extending outwards from each one of the four sides of this blue concrete. So. I don't know how best we can do this. We might have to make a couple of faux scaffoldings like this because I want them placed in a particular way. So from each and every side, one, two, three, four, have to make this a bit longer, five, six, and we'll preemptively make this one longer too. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So, if we destroy all of the scaffolding, that puts us in a really good position to set up the rest of the build as well. But focusing more so on the lower part of the build now, all the way down at the bottom here, we want to place a layer of light blue concrete all the way around the bottom of the very first blue concrete that we placed. And we want to extend this light blue concrete upwards by three rows. So one, two, three, and let's just get all of these stacked on top of each other, just all the way around like this. So next up, we want to place blue concrete extending outwards on each one of the four sides that we also placed the shulker box on. And in the corners as well, we want to place a light grey shulker box with a black shulker box underneath it. So again, these this is all very tricky to place because we have to uh, crouch, unfortunately. But it's alright because we've actually kind of got our very own built-in scaffolding and the end result should look like this. So all the way down at the bottom here as well, we're kind of going for a sort of like a mushroomy sort of shape, by the way. We want to place yellow concrete all the way around the edge of the base of our ride. And we want to stack the yellow concrete up an additional row, just all the way along these sides, and then take the center block and extend the center block upwards by one. Again, just on each one of the four sides. We will actually be adding more detail to this as we continue, but that's later on. Next up, we are going to do the roof of the ride. So this is relatively simple and we'll kind of like build all four of the sides at the same time, right? So, so hanging off of the ends of each one of these four rows of shulkers, we want to place a smooth quartz block and then extending outwards from this, a red concrete followed by another smooth quartz. Red concrete, smooth quartz. And we want to do this on all four of these sides, kind of simultaneously. So smooth quartz, red, smooth quartz, red, smooth quartz, all the way over onto this side, smooth quartz, red, smooth quartz, red, smooth quartz, and then smooth quartz, red, smooth quartz, red, smooth quartz, and that is perfect. But we are not finished, of course. So on this front side, we'll start here at the end. We want to place behind this smooth quartz, another smooth quartz, and then right of this, a red concrete, and right of that, a smooth quartz, and behind that, a smooth quartz, 
right of that a red concrete, behind that a smooth quartz, right of that a smooth quartz, behind that red concrete, and then behind that smooth quartz. So the end result should look like this. It's not exactly the most simple pattern, so we're going to have to make sure that we do get this right every single time. So coming towards the back here, we'll start from the back and kind of like build forwards. So behind this smooth quartz, we will place another smooth quartz. And then next to this, a red concrete. Extend that red concrete behind. Add a row of smooth quartz block to the right of the red concrete. And then place a red concrete right of the back quartz. Smooth quartz behind the red concrete and then extend that outwards. Behind that, place a red concrete and then a smooth quartz. And hopefully, that should be the exact same as we have on the front. It is ever so slightly tricky to get this made, but on the opposite side here, we will extend this smooth quartz backwards and then a red concrete on the outside. We then want to extend that red concrete backwards and add smooth quartz onto the outside of the red concrete. We then want to place a red concrete left of the back smooth quartz and then a smooth quartz behind the red concrete and extend it outwards. A red concrete right of this and then a smooth quartz block. And I'm going to take a look at this again just to make sure that everything's correct and I do believe it is. So all we've got to do now is just this last little corner. So starting from the front, I'm going to place a smooth quartz behind the smooth quartz right here a red concrete right of this, and then extend the red concrete back and place smooth quartz block along the side of the red concrete, a red concrete right of the back smooth quartz, smooth quartz block behind the red concrete and then extend it outwards, and then extending towards the back of the build a red concrete followed by a smooth quartz block. And hopefully that will give us the exact same thing on all of the sides. As a matter of fact, the only thing that we've done a little bit different is we haven't got a little red concrete here. I started doing that after the first lap of it. So now that we have our sort of circular shape, this is what we are going to do next. So in the corners of the build where we have the singular red concretes here, right? with the two rows of two smooth quartz on the side. Well, in the corners of this, we are going to place a white shulker box and extend that one block upwards. And we want to mark out these areas on each one of the four corners of the roof of our ride. So if we extend these upwards, it kind of gives us a nice way to kind of like get back to the right position in case we mess up because it is kind of a weird shape this. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to place some red concrete. On the each one of the four sides, we want to have a row of red concrete that starts here. So kind of inward diagonally from the white chalk is here, and it extends across and connects diagonally with all of the other red chalk. So it's almost essentially sort of a square shape that we are placing just like this. So here and then just connect the front together so from the top this is kind of like what it looks like and then we want to place red concrete and we, we kind of just want to extend all of that red concrete forwards that we've just placed so outwards in every single direction we're going to be adding lights to this by the way it's not going to be so plain um, I just want to get the base shape nailed down so this is the shape that we have so far and then from here we want to place smooth quartz slabs on each one of the four shulkers and we are going to create a circular shape. So now that we have all of these slabs, we are going to extend these slabs inwards and then out along the top of the red concrete and then along and then in. So this is the sort of shape that we are creating. We're creating kind of like a circle. So we'll extend them in and then out on top of the red concrete and then they will of course just kind of like spread around and join to all of the other shulker boxes. So uh, eventually it should look rather natural and we're kind of looking for like a nice gr smooth gradient. Again, kind of like a mushroomy sort of shape as we slowly edge up to the top of the build. 
So the next part of this is going to be with our red concrete. We want to add a row of red concrete all along the inside of the top of our ride. So inside each one of the kind of like four indentations and the four sides of the build like this, we want to add red concrete. But then I'm going to actually grab the material that we will be needing at this point in time. Let's get rid of the yellow concrete and we'll actually grab the lamps because it'll help mark things out. And then in each one of the four corners, we want to place redstone lamps, right? To kind of make it a little bit more circular. So the next thing that we want to do now is we want to add another layer of red concrete. So we're going to add red concrete on the inside row connecting the four lamps together like this. So it will kind of leave a square shape right in the center of the build. So the next thing is we want to place a smooth quartz slab in each one of the four corners of the empty shape, except the smooth quartz slabs want to be half a row above. And we're going to extend the slabs in by one on each one of the four sides as well. I realize that this is a bit complicated, ladies and gentlemen, but it is what it is. We then want to place shulker boxes in between all of these, and we may even change the position of these a little bit as well. So we want to place them in, oh, that's, that's not even in the center. <laughs> we almost missed that. So in between all of this, all we now have to do is simply place some red concrete like so, and we have perfect. So this is the shape that we want. It's actually quite a pleasing shape. You see how it kind of like slopes upwards towards the center kind of like slowly. I really like that. So all we're gonna do from here is we're gonna grab some block of redstone, we already have the lamps, and we're kind of going to devise where all the uh, the lights are. So the lights are going to be, for me, on each one of the four sides, we'll start at the row of red here, and we will destroy every other block, kind of like this, yeah? And then inside is where we are going to hide the block of red stone like this, and then the lamps will simply be in front, like so. So on each one of the four sides, every other block, and then we destroy the block inwards, like this, we can place the red stone, and then the lamps and it just creates a really nice effect and especially at night as well because at some point it might become night in the fair the fair is actually really really nice at night there's loads and loads of lights everywhere and um you can still navigate it really really well and it definitely is a nice little bit of a spectacle as uh, as we walk around so there we go we have the first set of lamps now on the upper side of this we also want lamps in the red concrete but kind of like in the opposite position of the ones on the lower level so in between the lamps on each one of the four sides is where we kind of like want to carve out place the redstone lamps and then we're actually going to come underneath the build in a second and you'll be able to see where we've got a place so just to light up every every single lamp we've just got to place all of the red concrete so here for instance here here and then just here 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 that might be all of them but we're just going to check and then that's absolutely perfect and if you want one more right at the very top for good measure i absolutely wouldn't blame you right in the center um just like that that is absolutely hang on <laughs> absolutely wonderful and i am forgetting that all the way down at the base we want these as well so right in the base of the build i want to have lamps in the center of each one of the four rows of yellow concrete so just kind of on the floor like this they could even be suspended a little bit higher up but i like them at the base and i think that yeah that's looking absolutely perfect so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to start we're just going to add a couple of things actually actually let's add the stuff that we don't have to do in bulk so uh the swing seats for our actual ride. We place them right at the end and they're made using two sets of chains, right? Oh, and we're missing a material. How could we, how could we miss a material? It's one of the most important ones. So right at the end here where we have the white shulkers, if we can, oh, we just, they're just ever so slightly out of reach. That's so annoying. So we want two sets of chains together, right? And we want them to draw down to the ground. And as we come towards the ground here, we want them just to be one row off the ground, like this. And then um, it'll be easier to, honestly, it'll be easier to place them against something. So under the chains, we want to have crimson trap doors and then crimson signs behind 
So depending which direction you want the seat to be, you will place crimson signs above and outside all of the trap doors like this, and then you will just leave one side open so it just looks like a, a swinging seat, which is the entire point. Now of course once we have made one swing seat for our ride, we are going to want to do the same on each one of the four sides. You might slowly start to realise a pattern here in which pretty much what we do to one side we do to every single one of them. It might be a little bit late to realise that pattern as we are quite far into the tutorial but that's that's how it is. So we want to of course have the chains hanging almost all the way down to the ground, crimson trapdoors underneath them so that's the actual like physical seat that one would sit on and I would recommend choosing a direction for your swing seat. So mine is of course going clockwise so this is the open side and we are just going to continue moving around just like this. And you could of course change the the sign and the trap door color if you wanted to. You could like um, you could use the walk signs if you want. So like blue and red. I mean they are quite apparent with this actual with this build. Like it's two colors that we have used throughout it. But um, there was something with the crimson because I really like the style of the trap doors as well. Um, I don't know, it just kind of seemed to go together for me, but we've just got this one last little side before we uh, move on to the next part. We've actually almost done the ride, we've uh, we've only just got one like big bit of detail to do, if you can call it that, which is going to be the kiosk, and then we've just got some stuff to fill in, and um, this will start looking really, really good. Uh, it's, it looks a little bit weird at the moment, doesn't it, with all of that open at the top, but uh, I promise that is not going to uh, that is not going to last. So we actually want to place these signs on the outside here, just behind, and this is going to be perfect now that we've done this. So. If you don't actually have a look at it from underneath, it looks really, really good as it is. So the next thing that we are going to do after this, as I mentioned, is we have to make a kiosk. So the kiosk's really easy to make. We're not even going to give it a door, so we just need some light blue concrete. We need glass pane, chest, lantern, a seat, item frame, villager spawn egg, and paper. So the... Uh, the kiosk is just going to sit outside of the the, uh, the actual ride itself. So if in front of this swing seat that we have here, just at the front, we move forwards by one, two, three, and then we move left one, two, start off by placing a light blue concrete and extend it forwards one, two, three, extend left one, two, three, across the back one, two, three, and then forwards again. We want to place glass on the front side of this, so if you consider this the front, on the two middle blocks, and also a glass here on the um, the right left middle block. We then want to place light blue concrete. We want to extend the corners each up by two, fill the right side in and the back side in using light blue concrete, and then fill the top in as well. Although, whilst we're here, we should maybe grab, say, the smooth stone wood uh, would be a fine material for the inside of this. Dig out the inside, replace it with a different material like smooth stone instead of just grass. Connect together at the top using the light blue concrete, and then, in the back right corner, place a smooth quart uh, a quartz stairs. Left of it a chest, above it a lantern, and then on the open side here, an item frame with paper in it to look like a ticket. And then we will place a willing participant who loves to work at the fair inside of the kiosk, isn't that right? Absolutely. So, all we have to do from here, ladies and gentlemen, is we just have to place... We only need three materials, I do believe. Red concrete, smooth stone, oak slab. So, all the way up at the top of the build here, which is maybe one of the more complicated parts, we, we want to fill the underside of our ride in using oak slabs. So, oak slabs are simply being placed along the top half of the white shulker, and it um, it basically just covers up all of the redstone, and that's pretty much is its only job. And it just makes it look really good as well, and it kind of does feed into the sort of like mushroom-looking-ish sort of ride. This isn't specifically like meant to be some sort of like weird mushroom swing swing chair ride, but um, it's kind of ended up that way, and it uh, honestly it looks kind of cool. So I'm quite happy with it. So, after you've filled in each one of the four slices of pizza underneath, we then want to add 
a boundary around the edge of our ride. So it's kind of up to you how much room you want to leave, but this is basically how I worked it out. If you leave a gap of one all the way around the edge of the ride from the swing chairs and you join it together in a square, then that's kind of a nice decent amount of space all the way around the edge of your ride and that's that's pretty much how we worked it out that's it i'm also leaving three blocks open at the front just next to the kiosk so that we can walk in and out and last but not least i'm going to dig out the entire grass portion of the swing chair ride and replace it using smooth stone and that is all there is to it And that's it ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial, if you have, please do remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell next to the subscription button, that will ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box, and if you would like to make any more of the fair, check out the description below for the how to build a fair slash carnival slash theme park playlist. There is so much to make if you haven't been making this along with me, then I'm, I'm sure that you will love to see everything that we have in there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.